So when does it make sense to tackle your website project yourself? I'll give you the whole rundown and we're starting right now. If you want to transform your website into a customer or lead generation machine, I'll show you all my best tips, tactics, and secrets to get there fast. Let's dive in. Hey guys, Wes McDowell here for The Deep End, and if you're not subscribed yet, you're going to want to make sure to click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you never miss a video you need to succeed online. Okay, so in recent years, technology has made it easier than ever to build your own website, but I think that Dr. Ian Malcolm may have said it best. Yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. So should you do your website yourself or would investing a bit more increase your ROI. So doing your website yourself may seem like a great way to save money, uh, but the only way it can really work is if you're using the technology available to bring an actual business strategy to life. So I'm gonna go all over your options, pros and cons, the way this can work best, and also a lesser known option that's still gonna allow you to save money while giving you that website that's based on an actual customer generation strategy. Okay, so first let's talk about all your options you have available to you. Um, and the first one would be, you know, online web builders like Wix or Squarespace. So um, there are some pros and cons to, to these services. So I'm just gonna go over, let's talk about the pros. Um, you know, basically these allow you to get up and running very quickly. Um, they have hundreds of really nice looking templates to choose from. And these are pretty much all drag and drop interfaces, meaning you don't need to know any coding. It's a very visual experience getting it up and running yourself. And it's pretty easy to do. And of course, these are actually pretty low price options. Um, you can mostly get started for around $12 a month. In most cases, the plans do vary, but $12 is uh, pretty much that sweet spot that most businesses find themselves in. Okay, so now let's talk about the cons. So if you go on these websites, Wix or Squarespace, you're gonna see a lot of great looking sites. Uh, this is a good and a bad thing. Um, the bad being that these are very visually based designs, meaning they rely a lot on really large, beautiful photos, but these are only the photos they're showing you in the demo versions. They don't come with those photos. And even if they did, uh, you'd basically be sharing those photos with every other company that picked that template. So let's think about when you're um, customizing it, putting in your own images. Is it gonna look as good? If you don't have professional photography, the chances are it's going to look a lot worse than what they show you. So right out of the gate, even though you're saving money with the DIY option, you still probably have to pay for custom photography or at least stock photography, and that doesn't always come cheap either. And the other con of having these websites that are so visually based, and with all this emphasis on visuals and aesthetics, uh, they really have not taken anything into account such as customer psychology or sales systems of any type. You know, if you look at most of these templates, there's very little space for copy, which is the true hero of any website. As I always say, a great looking website will keep people from running away, but great copy will make the sale. And sure, with most of these builders, there are options of kind of going outside the templates and adding in extra little elements, but now you're complicating matters. And if you don't really have a great design eye, um, you're not gonna know necessarily where to put these extra little uh, content blocks. Okay, so the next option available to you is WordPress. Uh, and the pros, there's more pros here than with the last option. So the first being, uh, basically you have unlimited options. You know, from completely custom, uh, you can find many tutorials online that'll kind of teach you how to, to get going yourself. It can get a little complicated, we'll get to that in a bit. To out of the box premium themes that you can customize yourself. And even the most expensive of these WordPress themes are right around $200, but you can find them for way cheaper. Sometimes as low as 10 to $15, and you can actually find free ones as well. Okay, so that's the good, now the bad. Um, like I mentioned previously, th it's not as simple as drag and drop. It's not gonna be like Wix or Squarespace in that way. Um, you'll need to follow tutorials. Good news is you can find a bunch of those, but it does get a little technical. Uh, and it can be very confusing for the average person to follow. So those are your main options when it comes to putting together a website yourself. 
Uh, now let's talk about when DIYing it actually might make sense. Now I actually see nothing wrong with using a DIY website, um, either WordPress or a Wix or Squarespace, if you're using that technology to bring an actual strategy to life. So if you start by defining a really good customer generation strategy and you know all the important pieces that are involved in that, and then you can use the tools available to you to carefully add in each and every one of those pieces, then that could actually work out very well and save you a lot of money in the process. And if you'd like help with that strategy, you can click right up here to get a free strategy session with myself where I can uh, get the ball rolling for you. Or if you'd rather do that part yourself as well, I do have a free mini course that will help you get started. Um, you can also click up here for that. It's called How to Guarantee Website ROI. And in that course, you'll get guided help how to put all the important pieces together to make sure that your website is profitable. Good place to start. And then once you get all those pieces together, then you can absolutely uh, put together your own website with all those important pieces. But now in the beginning of this video, I did promise you a lesser known option that might work better than a fully DIY project. And that would be teaming up with a WordPress customization expert who can help you find the perfect premium theme based on your strategy, and then can also put in all your content. This will involve adding images, uh, customizing the fonts, adding your logo, um, adding in any kind of lead generation uh, systems that you need that don't necessarily come with the theme. They'll do minor uh, layout changes like that so you don't have to, because like I say, it's very confusing once you get in there. And all that's probably likely to cost you is around $200. Um, just go to studio.envato.com, uh, choose the WordPress option, then put in your budget. And of course, even if you go with this option, you're still gonna need to put in that strategy work up front. This customization expert is not going to help you with that at all. You'll need to tell them exactly what your requirements are, then they will uh, basically put, in, put it into action for you. Because if you don't do that, all you're gonna still end up with is a website, not a customer or lead generation tool that your business really needs. So just to sum it all up, yes, a DIY website can work, but only when you take the emphasis off the technology and the aesthetics and you put it back on the business basics, which is a strategy that's there to bring you more customers or leads on autopilot. Otherwise, all you're really gonna have is a website that you didn't pay much for that's bringing in even less, um, which is the real cost of a website is losing out on potential buyers because you didn't have the right solution. Okay, so now I wanna hear from you. Uh, which of these options are you considering? Or have you decided that DIY may not even be the right way to go for you? Um, I'd love it if you'd leave it in the comments below. And of course, I am just a comment away, so if you have any questions about any of this, please leave it in the comment section and I will answer it. And if you're not subscribed yet, I want you to go ahead and click subscribe in the little circle icon right down here. And if you haven't accessed my free mini course yet, you're definitely gonna wanna do that. It will get you started in the right direction. Uh, you can access that with this little box over here. All right guys, I'm Wes McDowell for The Deep End and I'll see you in our next video.